Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. At noon on May 10, 2025, when the U.S. Treasury Department released the news of considering the exemption of 145% tariffs on Chinese goods, the curve of the global semiconductor trading market instantly jumped 3.7%. Behind this seemingly well-intentioned olive branch, there is actually a sophisticated calculation the U.S. Department of Commerce simultaneously released the news of cancelling the third-level control of chip exports, but it is limited to mature process equipment above 28 nanometers. An anonymous person who participated in the closed-door negotiations revealed that the Chinese negotiators took out two documents on the spot. One was the mass production report of Yangtze Memories 232-layer 3D NAND and the other was the acceptance certificate of Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers lithography machine. If EUV continues to be blocked, China will achieve national production of DUV lithography machines by 2028, and ASML will completely lose its largest market by then. The core bargaining chip of this game has long gone beyond the economic scope. The U.S. negotiators privately admitted that their real goal is to delay China's breakthrough in processes below 7 nanometers and maintain the generation gap advantage of at least five generations of chips. China's countermeasures directly hit the soft spot. Export restrictions on rare earth processing technology have been upgraded, and 90% of the world's high-purity gallium and 60% of germanium production capacity are in China's hands. These materials are exactly the raw materials for the metal deposition layer required for TSMC's 3 nanometers process. An Intel executive said anxiously, if China cuts off the supply of gallium, the machines in the new Arizona factory will not even be able to complete calibration. 2. TSMC's American Trap, a fatal temptation from 12 billion to 100 billion US dollars. TSMC's journey to the United States can be called a history of technological migration kidnapped by politics. In 2022, when the Biden administration used the CHIPS Act to tempt it to invest $12 billion to build a 5 nanometers factory, Morris Chang said bluntly at an internal meeting, the manufacturing cost in the United States is four times that of Taiwan. We are looking for death if we go there. But the turning point occurred in 2024 Trump leaked that he would impose a 100% tariff on non-US made chips, which means that TSMC's annual exports of $48 billion of chips to the United States will instantly return to zero. Chief Financial Officer Huang Renjiao did some calculations. If TSMC loses customers such as Apple and Nvidia, its market value will be halved which forced them to decide to increase investment to $65 billion within 48 hours. What really made TSMC go all out was the subsidy black box incident in March 2025. The U.S. Department of Commerce allocated 72% of the $52.7 billion chip subsidy to Intel, and TSMC only received 19%. What's more fatal is that Apple requires that all A-series chips must be made in Arizona from 2026, otherwise the order will be transferred to Samsung. People familiar with the matter revealed that under pressure from the Trump team, TSMC was forced to announce a $100 billion investment plan, which implied a devil's clause. The 3 nanometers factory must accept technical observers appointed by the United States. These observers bring quantum encryption notebooks into the core workshop every day. Taiwanese engineers complained. They even have to take photos of the ratio of etching liquid and upload them to the Pentagon system. 3. The double life of Nanjing and Arizona, 28 nanometers nursing home vs 3 nanometers meat grinder. While TSMC is pouring the foundation of the 3 nanometers wafer factory in the desert, the Nanjing Puku factory is performing another survival wisdom. This old 28 nanometers factory contributed 5.98 billion yuan in profits in 2024. The secret lies in fully utilizing the dividends of China's new energy vehicle chips BYD's IGBT modules for each car require 32 28 nanometers chips, and TSMC has a 75% market share. However, 
mainland customers have long seen through its technology isolation strategy. SMIC secretly cooperated with Weili and Xiaoping to develop a car-grade 40 nanometers independent process and plans to replace TSMC in 2026. The Arizona factory is another picture of purgatory. The American Construction Union requires all welders to be certified before they can work, which has delayed the construction of the factory by 14 months. What's even more magical is that local regulations stipulate that the noise of the wafer factory cooling tower at night shall not exceed 45 decibels, this is equivalent to the sound of flipping books in the library. TSMC had to spend $230 million to purchase German ultra-quiet water pumps. Human Resources Director Lee Lin complained, We offer American engineers an annual salary of $250,000, but they ask to work remotely four days a week, saying they want to attend anti-AI rallies. Fourth, the Chernobyl moment of the semiconductor Cold War, who is detonating the global industrial chain nuclear bomb. TSMC's $100 billion gamble is tearing the global semiconductor order apart. The cost of each 3 nanometers wafer in the US factory is as high as $18,000, which is 41% higher than Taiwan. This part of the premium is passed on to Apple, the purchase price of the A19 chip of the iPhone 17 Pro has soared by 15%, causing the cost of the whole machine to exceed the ceiling of $1,200. NVIDIA launched Plan B, secretly funding Samsung to develop gate all-around transistor technology, and plans to divert 30% of 3 nanometers orders by 2027. China is forced to start Red Supply Chain 2.0. Huawei High Silicon's 14 nanometers stacked chip performance is catching up with TSMC's 7 nanometers and the precision of SMIC's etching machine has exceeded 0.8 nanometers. And the most critical EUV lithography machine breakthrough has entered the final attack stage. Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine has a yield rate of 92%, and the 13.5 nanometers extreme ultraviolet light source of the Changchun Institute of Optics, Fine Mechanics and Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has completed 100,000 hours of testing. An ASML engineer warned on LinkedIn, if China achieves EUV autonomy in 2027, we can only survive by repairing old machines. V, final game deduction, Berlin Wall and Digital Iron Curtain on Wafers. When TSMC's Arizona plant produces its first 3 nanometers wafer in 2026, the world has split into two semiconductor camps. The US-led chip NATO controls 83% of advanced process capacity, and the independent ecosystem, led by China controls 68% of the mature process market. But the winner of this Cold War may be hidden in two seemingly unrelated data. The number of Chinese engineers is seven times that of the United States, and the subsidies of the US